Hey friends, so if you follow me on social media, I have been hinting around um, that I'm having a surgery coming up. And I wanna tell you guys a little bit more about that because you are my prayer warriors, you are my encouragers, my supporters, you are my people and my tribe. And you guys get me through um, so many hard times. And so I wanted to keep you guys kind of in the loop with what's going on and explain a little bit about what's been happening. So when I started back on platform about a year and a half ago, I kind of had tweaked my neck and I went in to get an MRI. And yeah, I had some impingements, but it didn't look anything other than what, you know, kind of an average Joe would have because we all seem to have neck issues these days, probably because we're all on our phones all the time. But uh, they said, if you get pain and weakness in your arm at some point, maybe we should re-MRI it, but right now I think you're fine. And I went on to compete, um, you know, that year, got segment nationals, my first big meet back since retiring in 2008. And then everything kind of got stopped the year after as we went through a very difficult adoption process uh, to bring home our fourth child, Dakaya, from Ethiopia. And I wasn't in the right mental state to be up on platform at that time. So I was doing a lot of basics and lower level stuff. Um, but this fall, I was really looking forward to competing at the winter trials that were in Atlanta, Georgia this past week. Um, I was really getting geared up. I was itching to compete. It had been another year. You know, I, I really wanted to get back up there. And so this fall, I got back up on 10 meter, but almost every entry, my arm was collapsing. I was hitting myself in the head. And if you're not familiar with 10 meters, I mean, you're throwing your body off a three-story building. And when you hit the water, you're hitting it like 30 to 35 miles an hour. So it's not very forgiving. It's very rough. And your arms are the only thing to stop you. So if you're collapsing every time, you're going to break your hand or your nose or dislocate your shoulder or do something else that's not good for your body. So um, every time I was going up there, this was happening. And I was like, I don't get this. I feel strong. I, I'm not sure what's happening. So we did another MRI of my neck and uh, it didn't look so good this time. And I got sent to several different doctors for consultations for surgery. Um, so basically the gist is my, in my neck, C, C5 through C7 um, is really kind of impinging onto my spine. There's an MRI, there's not a whole lot of spinal fluid in between it. It's really kind of cramping down on there, which explains a lot of the weakness I have in my arm and my hand strength and a lot of the nerve firings um, that I'm getting. And so I guess what I was most nervous about, I knew, I knew cervical fusion might be something that they bring up. And I know that's absolutely like a last resort. You don't ever wanna like fuse your back or any bones together unless that's like your last possible option. So I was really nervous going into these consultations thinking that um, I'd have to get this fusion in order to keep diving or I would just have to retire and be done. And I, I didn't know if I could make that decision because I, it's, that's just a big, that's a big load on my family and you know, when you're on your own, when I was, when I was diving, I was just an individual, I, nothing felt like a sacrifice. Like I would give up everything to do the thing that I loved. You know, it didn't ever feel like a sacrifice. People always told me, you sacrifice so much. And I was like, that's all I really wanted to do. It never felt like a sacrifice. But when your choices and your sacrifices now impact your children, um, it's totally different ball game. And so I was really scared that that was the choice I was gonna have to make. And y'all, God is so gracious. He took that choice right out of my hands. And both the surgeons that we talked to said, you have to have this done no matter what, because it's that bad. If you have a bad fall, or if you get in a small car accident, like this could be really debilitating, um, you know, with the use of your arms and things like that. So graciously, um, I have to have the surgery no matter what. And so um, I feel, I feel better about that, knowing that this is the path that I have to take. Um, I don't have to make this really difficult choice on my family. It's gonna be hard, but it's not a choice that I had to make, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, the surgery will be the morning after Christmas, so I will be checking into the hospital at 4.30 a.m. on the 26th, so please, if you think of me on Christmas, eve or Christmas night, please pray for me because I know you won't be up when I'm up. <laughs> um, my surgery is at six. I'll probably be done by like 8 a.m., so hopefully, my husband can, can put an update out there to kind of let you guys know how it went. I have a wonderful, amazing neurosurgeon that I'm really excited to be um, cared for by. I think he's gonna do a great job and, um, you know, but it still, it still makes me nervous because it's, it's surgery on your neck. You know, they, they cut through the front of my throat, they move everything over, they go in, they take out the discs, they put in um, this little kind of implant with stem cells and it fuses your bones together and they put a titanium plate on there so after this, y'all, I'm gonna be titanium-plated mom. So 
just that's kind of awesome. I don't should we do like hashtag Robomom or Bionic Mom or One Tough Mother? Come on, y'all, give me some hashtags I should be using on social media after this. I, that could be really helpful. So I, I'm nervous just about the procedure in general because it's it's your neck, it's your spinal cord, it's nerves like that. It kind of scares me a little bit, but I know I'm in good hands, um, and I'd, I appreciate all y'all's prayers. That would be huge for me um, just to have peace going into this. Uh, what I'm hopeful for and I'm actually looking forward to is the doctor thinks that my weakness and the pain that I've been living with in my arm for, I don't know, as long as I can really remember, <laughs> um, might go away almost immediately. Some of it might be lingering. I may have some permanent damage, but a lot of it should begin to go away, if not immediately, very soon thereafter. And I can't even like comprehend what that feels like. Like I haven't had a normal arm or a normal body in forever. I've been having tricep issues, you know, since I, before I retired in 2008, um, I just didn't know they were coming from my neck. I thought it was just an isolated tricep thing. So I have no idea what it feels like to be strong. It has been so, so long, uh, but I'm looking forward to the fact that like, I might actually be able to hold an entry on 10 meter again, and I might feel capable and strong and confident to go in the water clean again. Like that's, that's really exciting to me that that's a possibility. You know, um, if nothing else, I, I will feel safer walking around knowing that, that this is in good shape and that, um, you know, I can't uh, get into a really bad accident, you know, cause, or just a simple accident causing some really bad trauma. So I'm looking forward to knowing that I can be a mom, a strong mom for my kids um, without worrying about that kind of thing that, that I'm looking forward to that piece. So it's an interesting journey, um, you know, with a lot of questions, a lot of unknowns, um, but a lot of hope. Always, there's always hope. And so I'm excited and looking forward to that. I will be making little video updates. I think kind of weekly is what we're gonna shoot for, so you guys can kind of follow along. I've been told I will probably be a lot more active than I think I'm going to be in the early weeks, so stay tuned. I'll let you know what I'm able to do and how it all goes. I will be sporting a very nice collar for about six weeks. So the hardest part about this is I'm not allowed to drive for a while, and so I'm gonna have to have my parents, my mother-in-law, they're graciously going to help us out trying to get kids to school and things like that. So it's gonna be an adjustment for a while. But, um, you know, I'm kind of just looking forward to getting the surgery over with and, and start that road to recovery and what that looks like. The hope is that after three months, the fusion should be complete and I should be able to get back in the water and dive again at that point. So um, I'll be able to do some things, you know, leading up to that and I'll kind of keep you guys posted on what that looks like. But um, I really appreciate you guys walking along all these journeys, you know, our, bringing our daughter home, getting back into the pool, now going through this. I mean, without you guys by my side, I, it, would be, it would be so, so hard. So I really appreciate you guys. I'm grateful for all of you. Praying for everyone to have a wonderful Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, um, just this season, this time with your family and, and celebrating. And just, I hope you guys can, after you watch this video, just shut off social media and just enjoy your family and enjoy your break and your time. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you.